What's up team, welcome to What I'm Consuming Part 2. Part 1 I filmed a few months back. What this is, is I take the food, or the supplement, or like the thing that I've recently been, the content, the podcast, the book, that I've been consuming, that has helped me the most, and maybe is the most, uh, like something you wouldn't expect, or just whatever's top of mind for me. A lot of people really like the last video, I'll link that below. Um, but yeah, I got a few things here that I want to talk about that I think will help you. So we're gonna start with a very obvious one that I've been slacking on a little bit lately and just picking up water. Like, primarily because I feel more awake and more energized when I'm hydrated. Not, and like, there's tons of upsides to water. One of them being that we often mistake hunger, or, or sorry, we often mistake dehydration for hunger and in fat loss diet, staying super hydrated is a way to avoid overeating. Uh, but for me, it, it's literally just been like more mental alertness, being very hydrated. Shoe dog, I'm only like one tenth of the way in. Um, Phil Knight, the founder of Nike, apparently, I didn't know that until this was like in my recommended books. Like he, he doesn't get like Elon or Bezos or Richard Branson. He doesn't get that kind of hype. Um, but it's so well written, and like the story, it's it's like relatable and it's like inspiring, but not a cheesy way. Check it out. Carbs. Here's a good one. I just went to Chipotle. Um, I have a bunch of rice here. I have a bunch of stuff. I already had Chipotle once today. I basically want meat for my last meal today. So rather than take the like, I don't know, 14 or 16 minutes to cook up chicken and then clean and go through all that, for $2, you can just get a side of chicken from Chipotle. So I went there and I got two sides, one side of chicken, one side of steak. I'll be having that with two things of rice, some bananas, maybe a bagel tonight. I've been consuming the Ask Gary V show recently. While eating is where I consume the majority of my YouTube content. Um, ah, I got a show. If anyone needs a show. All or Nothing, where they followed the Arizona Cardinals around all of last season. And I didn't think I would get that into it. I, I actually don't watch much Hard Knocks. Like I've maybe seen two total episodes over however many seasons they've done it on HBO. But they follow this professional football team around all last year. And even if you're not super into the NFL or football, like you're getting an inside look at the absolute best people in a profession, like the pros of the pros. And you're seeing how they practice and what their mindset's like and, and how they work together and how like a, a big team of 53 plus players is, is broken in individual units and how there's leaders of those units and how like certain guys step up in the locker room that you may or may not expect based on what goes on in the field. There's just like, like I remember Pat Peterson on, on an off day pulled the defense in, or maybe it was just the defensive backs, but it was basically like the coaches said everyone had the day off, but then he steps up and he's like, yo, you guys, we don't have the day off. We're doing whatever tomorrow. We're, we're watching film, like let's go. There's just, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Yeah, all or nothing on, whoa, look at that. On uh, Amazon Prime. The compound effect was one that I just finished, which is very like self-helpy and obvious, but actually really good and really solid and got my mind in the right track. Um, particularly for anyone who's like, I don't have people around me to motivate me. I don't have like my friends or my family. They aren't like into fitness. They aren't into hard, like working hard. Audiobooks and podcasts and things like that can give you that sense of what is in your life and what you're consuming helping motivate you. So. This is actually a solid book. Protein powder, Legion Whey Plus. It's, it, it isn't cheap, but he sweetens it using erythritol rather than sucralose, which most of, like most protein powders are sweetened with sucralose. Um, there's also just so, so, so much less of a chance in my mind that when the label says 22 or 24 grams of protein or whatever, that the actual content is like half of that. So I feel much more comfortable with, with what I'm getting from Mike. Um, I also, a lot of times, will have either this Muscle Milk or the Muscle Milk Pro Series 40, which, like, these are just a convenience play, right? You can just take this and chug it, you don't have to shake, they taste really good. These are sweetened with sucralose, but 
I'm okay with a little bit of artificial sweetener. That's why I'm not like absolutely zero diet soda. That's why I'm not like, if you wanna put a little something in your coffee, I'm cool with that because we don't know what the long-term effects of artificial sweeteners are. Now, there's, there's more research and more stuff coming out about gut health and artificial sweeteners, which is a different conversation, but as far as the sucralose is gonna give you cancer, sweeten low is gonna give you cancer, or it's absolutely not gonna give you cancer, we don't know. Based on all available research, like it just hasn't been around long enough. It hasn't been our diets long enough. It was like the early 90s when this stuff was introduced. So I'm big on moderation. For myself personally, I'm, I've actually over the last 12 to 18 months, I've scaled back pretty dramatically on artificial sweeteners. I do very little like, I do almost no diet soda. I do um, like maybe if it's in a drink here or there, which isn't that often. I've been drinking a lot of beer recently. Um, I'm trying to think of when else, what, where else I've cut back. I, I put very little, if any, in my coffee these days. Um, I, in fact, I will do sugar. I mean, I'm bulking, so this, it's easier for me, but uh, I, I will do a little bit of sugar in some espresso before I would put a packet or, or even a half a packet of sweet and low in there. Um, yeah, I've, I've just cut back dramatically. So with the muscle milk here and there, I feel okay with. Moderation, and, and I don't know but the smartest doctor in the world, he doesn't know either, or she doesn't know either. Like, we're all guessing based on what evidence is available. So anyway, protein, what else am I consuming? Mm, cartoned egg whites, if you're not consuming cartoned egg whites, like, it's just so easy for hitting your protein goals. Why can't you eat the yolk? Is the yolk unhealthy? No, but the yolk has five grams of fat, and there's only six grams of protein in a whole egg. So if you can hit your protein targets and keep your fat low enough while having a bunch of whole eggs, amazing, do it. I just can't. So I'm into these egg whites. As far as more micronutrient dense fruit goes, I've been into raspberries lately. I bought these organic ones. I figured the placebo effect might help. Saw a movie recently that was really good, Blue Valentine with Ryan Gosling and Michelle girl from Dawson's Creek, um, pretty like, not sad, but just kind of like depressing and not like a real fun movie to watch, but insanely, insanely honest. Um, so yeah, that was good. All right, this last one's just gonna sound really stupid. I've been consuming a lot of air, and what I mean by that is I've been practicing diaphragmatic breathing or breathing into my belly um, for 15 deep breaths right away to start the morning and another 15 in my pre-workout routine, which has helped me a lot with like stress management, with um, upper body tension, like being a, a chest breather, which I've been most of my life, I just hold a lot of like stress in my traps and my shoulders. Um, it's allowed me to progress. I, I think it's in part what has helped allow me to progress on upper body strength moves without getting hurt over the last six months. Um, so yeah, those deep breaths. All right, appreciate you guys watching. Hope everyone has a great weekend. I will see you tomorrow. These are a little like, they're getting a little brown, but they get sweeter and uh, I'm still eating them. <laughs>